Hi, let's see how to fix the FIM status code 400. Are you tired of encountering the FIM status code 400 error message while playing your favorite game? This error can be frustrating and can prevent you from enjoying the gaming experience. The full error message shows something like this could not contact the entitlement service status code 400 error message. But don't worry, in this particular video, we'll see step-by-step -step process how we can fix it. So let's see how to fix the FIM status code 400. The first method is check the FIM server status. Sometimes the uh, FIM uh, server may be down and that can cause the status code the 400. To check the server status, go to this particular website, status.cfx.re. If, the, if there is any kind of maintenance is going on, you can wait for some time, then you can try again later. The second method is disable your firewall and antivirus. The firewall and antivirus in your system treats these kind of applications as a malicious or a spam software. So try to disable the firewall and the antivirus. The third method is clear your browser caches and the cookies. One step to try when you encounter the VM status code 400, open your browser setting, navigate to privacy and security and click on clear browsing data. So I will just show you if you are using a Chrome, open the Chrome, click on these three dots, click on click on these three dots, go to more tools, clear browsing data. So here you can click on clear data. So that will clear all the browser cookies and caches. The fourth method is check your internet connection. Uh, make sure that you have a proper internet connection with very good speed and very good bandwidth. If you are having a poor internet connection, you will face these kind of issues. The fifth method is flush your DNS caches. DNS caches stores the IP address of the website you visit, which can sometimes cause the issues when connecting to the servers. To flush your DNS caches, open the command prompt, type IP config slash flash DNS net percent. This will clear the, your DNS caches and may resolve the issue. The sixth method is reinstall the 5M application. If the other troubleshooting methods didn't work for you, then try reinstalling the 5M application. Uninstall the 5M from your computer and then download it. And again, you can reinstall the latest version version from the official website. Okay. So that's all about this. Thank you.